Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Afizullah Masudi and this is our third video of this tutorial on how to create multiple authentication system in Laravel framework. As you guys remember in our last video, we separated our admin uh, and other users login redirection. So in this video, we will probably work on our admin dashboard and uh, we will add uh, an already built admin LTE template. So let's start guys. First of all open a browser and open a new tab and search for admin LTE. And in here come to the bottom and select this link. And in here click on this download link or button. Because I already have uh, downloaded this template, so I won't download it again. So I will close this tab and open the file explorer. And let's go to this downloads folder. As you can see, this is the zip for admin LT master. And I have extracted it. So let's open it and open this index.html. So this is the template that we want. So let's say view page source and control A, control C. Copy everything that we have and open our project in the code editor. And in here, let's go to our resources views. And if you guys remember in our last video, we also separated uh, the views for admin and other users so let's go to this admin folder and this is the main file of our admins dash dashboard and this is the main blade for our admin so open this and in here first of all let's comment everything and at the bottom, let's paste our admin LT code. So if we check the links and the scripts in here, as you can see, all the links in here is pointed to this plugins folder and this dist folder. And if we check our scripts also, uh, they are also pointed to this plugins and dist folder. So let's go back to our admin lt folder and from here let's copy this plugins and dist folder and let's head to our project folder which is in c vamp 64 www and multi auth project and in here let's go to this public folder and paste those two folders in here now let's jump back to our code and in here let's start from these scripts so first of all let's remove these uh, jquery scripts because we don't need them due to we have installed jquery as dependency uh, in our last video with package manager yarn so we will be using uh, jquery as a dependency so let's remove this uh, from here and we also don't need this bootstrap this chart also and uh, let's remove everything from here we need this uh, scroll bar we need this alt admin lt.js and these two demo links and uh, for the source let's cut this link and in here we can say double brackets our asset and in here let's say first public slash then our link and let's do also for this one so we can say double brackets asset public folder slash link and for this one also for, for this one also yeah let's cut this one double brackets asset our public folder slash the link and for this one too so cut it 
packets asset public slash link and uh, now let's do the same for our CSS links so in here let's first uh, remove this font awesome and besides that we don't need this also and yeah we can take out from here these all links so remove them we need our admin lt css we need our scroll bar and we do, don't need these other links also so remove these two and uh, for the href let's cut this and in here let's declare our double brackets and in here let's say asset public slash and let's also cut this one our double brackets asset and in here say public slash the link so guys this was how to change all the links for the project so let's check it in the browser i already have opened uh, the project in the browser so let's log in as administrator and the password is password as you can see this is the admin lt that we added but you can see our jquery is not working fine and if we click on the in here this is for to hide the sidebar so what can we do for our jquery is uh, that let's open a command prompt and in here let's uh, first navigate to our project folder and for that we can see cd dot dot slash dot dot slash ramp 64 slash www slash multi auth and in here we can see yarn run watch and besides that uh, let's go back to our code and if we go to the app let's copy this script from our previous code and paste it at the bottom but above other scripts and uh, let's go to the app and also copy our style sheets and paste it above all the other links of our admin LTE save it and now if we check our browser as you can see our scroll bar is just working fine now the next thing we want to do in here guys is to bring our logout button in here so let's go to our code and if we come to the app let's copy this ul and paste it inside our nav but before that we don't need this search form and we don't need this other ul also let's paste our new ul and let's remove this login and regist register link this end guest also and indent it save it now let's remove this other ul also because we don't need home or contact in the navbar we just only need uh, our username and a logout button so let's check our browser as you can see it has been added just fine let's also customize uh, the admin dashboard a little bit let's leave this header but uh, we want to remove these other stuffs but we want to remove these other stuffs from here so if we go back to our code and in here this is our sidebar so leave it for now and this is our content wrapper and as you can see this is for that header 
we want to leave this and in here this is the content section of admin LTE so we want to leave this first row but we want to remove this other row so let's remove it and in here let's say at you and if you go back to the browser and refresh as you can see now it shows our admin dashboard in here so let's also cut these four from our main blade in the dashboard blade so for that we can cut this from here and save this file and paste it inside our admin dashboard and now if I refresh as you can see it is the same and nothing has changed so guys the next thing that I want to show you guys is if we check the original one as you can see we have this font awesome included in the admin LTA project but uh, if we check our own we don't have access to font awesome and that is because we removed uh, or eliminated the font awesome link from the code so to add font awesome as a dependency uh, let's open a new tab and in here search for font awesome and open this first link and uh, start for free and if you come to the bottom let's click on this yarn and if you come to the bottom let's copy this yarn add command and open a new command prompt and in here let's first navigate our project folder dot dot slash wamp 64 slash www slash multi on press enter and paste the yarn add command for font awesome and press enter it will take some time guys you have to wait for it to finish so so guys it has been installed successfully as a dependency let's head back to our uh, browser not our code and in our code let's open uh, under resources under sas this app.scss and in here we want to add uh, the path for our font awesome folder because it is now installed as a dependency so it is located in this node underscore modules folder as you can see this is the folder for our font awesome free and it is uh, as you guys uh, as you guys have noticed it is uh, a spelled fort awesome because it is free so in here we can say dollar sign for slash or not slash sorry a dash font dash path and the path for our font awesome is http colon slash slash localhost slash multi auth slash node underscore modules slash at fort awesome and slash font awesome this time dash three and slash web fonts and terminate it now after that we want to import our font for awesome slash font awesome free slash scss slash font awesome dot scss and uh, let's duplicate these this one uh, for two times and the second one we want is solid dot scss and the other one we want is brands dot scss so our watch is running already and now if we go to the browser and refresh as you can see uh, all our code has been added successfully 
but we don't have this uh, link to minimize the sidebar and that is because we removed it so let's come back to our original code and from here let's copy this you will again and go back to our code and our admin blade and in here let's paste it in our navbar above this other ul but this time let's remove these two other allies because we don't need home and contact and if we save it now and say refresh as you can see now we have access to our font awesome and everything is working just fine and if we check our logout yeah it is working also fine so guys uh, this was how to add admin LTA template to our own project and uh, also how to add font awesome free as a dependency and use it as SAS in our project so if you guys like the video please subscribe to my channel and uh, don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and uh, this was all for this video see you guys in the next video bye for now